Welcome back folks, uh, let's talk about uh, another quick video on the uh, exponents uh, and the logarithms which we were talking about. So uh, now I'm going to talk about the exponents. Uh, there are certain exponents rule. Uh, so one of the exponent rule is uh, that x raised to the power m times x raised to the power n uh, is equal to x raised to the power m n. And then another rule is if it is x raised to the power m, uh, times x raised to the power n, the final answer is x raised to the power m plus n. Then uh, the next is if it is x raised to the power m divided by x raised to the power n, the final answer is x raised to the power m minus n. And you can write them both ways. So you can go from here to this direction and you can go from here to this direction. So for example, if it is written 5 raised to the power x minus 4, and you can always write it as 5 raised to the power x divided by 5 raised to the power 4. All right. Uh, so these are a couple of rules which I will encourage you guys to remember or you can note it down on your formula booklet if they are not mentioned to you on the uh, formula booklet. So now I'm going to solve certain questions based on the exponent. So if it is 2 raised to the power x equal to 16, basic, basic exponent question. I wanted to find the value of x in this question. Uh, so what will be the value of x? So x value will be equal to uh, 2 raised to the power x equal to 2 raised to the power 4. Now, if the base is same, then I can compare the exponent. So now, because the base in this question is same, which is 2 equal to 2, x value will be equal to 4. That will be the final answer. Uh, now, let's look into uh, another question similar to this. 3 raised to the power x equal to 1 upon 81 and 3 raised to the power x is equal to uh, now 1 upon 81 how can i write it in the 3 format like because the base is 3 so i wanted to write this thing in the in terms of 3 so 1 upon 3 raised to the power i can write it 3 raised to the power 4 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81 so 3 raised to the power x is equal to, I can write it 3 raised to the power negative 4. Another formula you can note down here is, that is x raised to the power, uh, x raised to the power negative 1 can be written as 1 upon x or vice versa. So 1 upon x can be written as x raised to the power negative 1 or x raised to the power negative 5. You can write it as x raised, x raised, 1 upon x raised to the power 5 can be written as x raised to the power negative 5 or vice versa. So here it is in the bottom. I've brought it on top because I wanted to have the same denominators. Uh, and then x can be written as minus 4. This will be your answer for this question. Now, uh, there can be questions where uh, uh, it can be a little tricky. And so for example, one of the question is pi raised to the power 2x, and which is equal to 20. So we don't know how to solve this question. So what I'm going to do is in this question is I'm going to take log. So taking taking log log on both sides both sides. So this will be log of pi raised to the power two x equal to log of twenty, and then this will go in front. So two x equal to log twenty, and oh I can write it completely two x log pi, and now I can find the value of log pi using the calculator log. Pi means 3.14, so log of 3.14, which is 0 0.0.496, and uh, this is log of 20. So log of 20, which is equal to 1.3, and this is 2x times this, and 2x value will be equal to 1.3 divided by 0 0.496. So 1.3 divided by 0.496, which is equal to 2x is equal to 2.62, dividing both sides by 2 cancels out. x value will be equal to 2.62, 2.62 divided by 2, which is 1.31, as my final answer for this question. Uh, okay. Now let's look into one more similar question to this one. If the question is like this, 5 raised to the power x minus 4, which is equal to 78, I wanted to solve for, I wanted to solve for x. How I'm going to get the answer for this one? So I can uh, directly write it as, uh, okay, 
you can think of it writing as log because there's nothing in here log of 5 x to the power of minus 4 now if you're going to write it like this this whole thing has to come in front 78 x minus 4 log of 5 and this on the other side i will write it as log of 78 you can do this way so this is equal to log of 78 and x minus 4 this will be log 78 divided by log 5 dividing both sides what i did was dividing both sides by log 5 that's what i tried to do so i will do the math here so log of 78 log of 78 divided by log of 5 which is 2.2.7 x minus 4 and this is going to go on the other side which is 2.7 plus 4 x value will be 6.7 that will be your final answer so hopefully you were able to understand these questions how to simplify these questions now i'm going to try and take one or two questions uh, which are kind of similar to these ones so if uh, which are purely based on the log so if i have to solve an equation of the log so something like 2 natural log 2 natural log of 2 plus ln of x which is equal to which is equal to ln of 3 now how to simplify this equation uh, so what i'm going to do in the first step is you can do any which way okay the idea is because there are log everywhere so i wanted to get rid of the log so i'll bring this 2 on top ln 2 raised to the power 2 plus ln x equal to ln of 3 uh, so now what I'm going to write it as here I'm going to take the log common so what is the formula for log a plus log b log a plus log b and uh, that is log a times b so this will be natural log of 2 raised to the power 2 times x equal to ln of 3 and I cancel the ln so 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 times x equal to 3 and x value will be 3 over 4 that's how you can get the answer so did you see the what is the difference between some of this question sometimes the question is given to us in exponent and we use the log and sometimes the question is given to us uh, in the uh, log form and we have to get rid of the log and get it back to the exponent form so depending upon how the question is given and what you are asked to find out you will apply the equation if there are too many logs given to you you always uh, try to cancel out the logs if you are given if you know log is given you will and you cannot make the equation out of it in terms of b by making the base same so something like this where you can make the base same so you will make the base same if you cannot make the base same and something like this then you will start using the log for exponents too so hopefully you were able to understand uh, these questions uh, so as I told you guys so try and do whatever questions I told you in the last uh, class try and do those uh, questions and that should be a uh, good enough uh, so yeah thank you very much i'll see you with another video till then